Hello dear viewer, welcome to our lesson discussion uh, for this week. Uh, we are on the lesson of the third quarter, uh, which is making friends for Jesus, the joy of sharing in his mission. And uh, this week we are on lesson four, which is prayer power, interceding for others. In this lesson, we are going to discuss several things, which include a uh, cosmic struggle, uh, the mighty intercession, uh, uh, there was Jesus' mighty interpretation, uh, intercession, Paul's intercessory prayers, also unseen power at work, prayer focus, will be our final Theme. And uh, our key text for this week's study is found in the book of James chapter 5, verse 16, which says, Confess your trespass to one another and pray for one another that you may be healed. The effective, fervent prayer of a righteous man avails much. It tells us to confess to one another when you are co wrong you know the greatest power in life is prayer and intercession interceding for others we should learn each and every day to uh, pray for others to, to intercede on their behalf you know you know uh, this week's lesson we are going to learn how the early church was conducted. We know it was founded, the early church was more founded in prayer, uh, in which uh, all the members or all the disciples of Jesus was involved in praying for one another. They were united in prayer. Uh, we know during the day of Pentecost, for instance, uh, the, they were united in prayer when the Holy Spirit was poured, and uh, they were all filled with the Holy, Holy Spirit. And they had to witness because they received strength, they received uh, boldness. So they were pulled in taking the spread, in spreading the, the word of God. Reason they were waited in their hearts. What they heard was the pardon of the souls that needed salvation. They felt the urge to spread the love of Jesus, to spread the gospel. That is, the gospel that was brought by Christ, a new gospel. Not that uh, Jesus came in with a new narrative, but he came with love. The Old Testament says, an eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. But Jesus came and said, uh, we should love our enemies. Because if we hate our enemies and we love those who love us, what uh, promise do we have? What good do we, are we up to? We are like the world because the world loves only those who love them and the world hates those who hate them. That was the basis of the New Testament church. It says when we seek God in the, and intercede for others, God works in our own hearts to draw us closer to him and gives us divine uh, wisdom to reach them for his kingdom. God enables us to reach others for his kingdom. We live in a world that we don't know what is going on because we can't see that is our war that is going on, that is spiritual war, the war between the seen and the unseen. That is what the Bible gives us, unveils to us, remove the fell that we may see. The war, the great controversy. The book of Revelation chapter 12, verse 7 to 9, talks of a war that erupted in heaven that the walls were in heaven, and Michael and his angels fought, and the dragon fought back and his angels too. 
so the, this struggle this a spiritual war between uh, the righteous between the good and the evil between the forces of righteousness and forces of darkness and between Christ and Satan Christ as God gave us free will that we may choose what to believe in what to do uh, each and every day decisions are based on our on our free will but when we pray he gives us send us the holy spirit who leads us into knowing all the truth that is divine truth but satan on his knees on also is trying to make sure that all that truth doesn't reach us this war that goes on so when we pray for others Paul believed that when you pray for others what happened what will have happened to them that is maybe evil that will have happened to them will be prevented from happening the same case when you pray God will um, is more willing to grant us the request that you make ourselves than uh, what he offers is so more than willing because of the love that he has for us it's more than willing to grant us our request that is why even though there is a, a, a send us the holy spirit to guide us and to show us all the truth so when we pray for someone who doesn't know Christ we open the divine with the will of god to flow into their lives that they be changed they be changed people new man in christ that uh, the blessings of the lord flows into them and they are changed and changed into knowing all the truth that is the power of uh, the power of intercessory prayer we pray for them they are changed uh, we should know humble acknowledge that we do not understand god's working fully but this should not keep us from continually entering into the blessings prayer over to ourselves and for others we should always intercede for ourselves and for others because god need us that we should pray for others that they be pay, be changed No so uh the mighty intercede intercessor who is Jesus you know in his own life Jesus prayed the seeded most of his life starting with uh during his baptism when he was people baptized by John and he prayed the heavens opened and a dove descended from heaven and there was a sound from heaven that is when he had prayed when he was with his disciples he prayed unto them in the book of john you know that jesus interceded for his disciples that they should not be left alone in this world but he should be sent guidance that they should be led through the earth through in their through their journey who was ready to pray for them he also uh Jesus were feeding the 5000 people you know he took bread and gave thanks that was the power of prayer he prayed that and three fish and five loaves of bread were enough for 5000 people also uh during the healing of the leap he prayed the deliverance of the demoniacs jesus recognized that in the battle between good and evil prays a mighty weapon to pit back the forces of hell that was wonderful when we read the bible we recognize that most of those prayers that were answered most 90% is also people recognize that themselves they themselves could not uh people but they they recognize their weakest states 
and the helplessness and their need for Jesus to deliver them and to heal them. That is, when we realize our own weaknesses, our own weaker state, is when Jesus is able to help us. You know, the Master, Jesus, re recognizing the big task that was before Peter, you say that Peter, the devil, has been given to tempt you, but I pray to you that he may, that you may stand. Because he knew the task that was before Peter in preaching the gospel, that was uh, in doing, packing out uh, the preaching to other people, was much very important. So Jesus offered to pray to intercede on behalf of Peter invites us to join him in this work of intercessory prayer uh, and lift up others by name before his throne. The same way he prayed for Peter by name, he should also pray for others. When praying for the demoniac, he asked him, what is your name? So we should always pray that you appear your children, your siblings, brothers and sisters, even the one who you want God to see him true in life. Your loved ones, pray for them by name, that God may keep them and enable them to be changed and know the will of God. Paul's in Paul's intercessory prayer also, he prayed for the church of Philip. He prays for the church of Eversa. He prays for the church of Corinth. He prays for the brothers who are in Galatia. You know, all those who are spreading the gospel, you know, uh, in his ministry, he managed to uh, wreck churches. There were new converts. Uh, the prayer that uh, Paul had to the church of his verses. It's almost the same as that Jesus had unto the his disciples. We are going to read uh, to the book of Revelations, chapter 1, verse 15, 2 to 21. And it says, Wherefore, I also, after I heard of your faith in the Lord Jesus and love unto all the saints, cease not to give thanks for you, making mention of you in my prayers, mention of you in my prayers, that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him. That he wanted them to have the knowledge of Christ and the wisdom in the Lord. Also, the eyes of your understanding being enlightened, that you may know what is the hope of his calling and what the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints and what is the exceeding greatness of his power to us toward who believe according to the working of his mighty power. Also, which he wrote uh, in Christ when he raised him from the dead and set him at his, right, uh, his own right hand in the heavenly places hair far above all principality and power and might and dominion and every name that is named not only in this world but also in that which is to come we know paul realized the mighty power of jesus that is the ability to raise someone from the dead he recognized also that he can uh, lead them he can uh, overcome all principalities of this world, all the powers, that is, uh, the power of Satan, he, can, he overcame them. So when we depend on him, he, we, we have assurance that is, he can do the same to us. Also, he recommended the fellowship that was in the church, among the church members, even those in Philip. Philip, Philip if you can read after him, read the book of Philippians chapter 1, verse 3 to 11. So you can realize that he says that 
We have a God that is loving. We should abound in his love. His judgments are true. Approve things that are yes as to approve things that are excellent, that are good, that are righteous, that are worth things that are leading us into eternal life. That was the life that Paul wanted his readers to see also. There is also unseen powers at work. When you, if you can read the book of Daniel 10 verse 10 to 14, we realize there is an angel who comes to Daniel. When Daniel prayed on behalf of uh, the people of God, the Jews, because they were taken into captive. And according to the prophet Jeremiah, the captivity period was to take 70 years. Daniel recognized that the 70 years that was written in the book of the prophets, the Jeremiah, was about to come to an end. And he saw no changes or no likelihood of them going back as promised to Canaan. So he prayed for three weeks. And after three weeks, the angel of the Lord appeared to him and told him, Daniel, fear not, because he said, I was weak when he appeared, and I was out of my strength. And he told him, fear not, for the time that you first prayed, your prayer was heard, once answered. So he recognized that also, uh, the power of, uh, said, uh, there was the prince of the kingdom of Pasha prevailed me. There was the, the prince of the kingdom of Pasha, who was this king? Suddenly, it was not Cyrus, because in the Bible, uh, we realize that the prince of uh, Paris said in the Bible, please read this verse if you have the Bible, Daniel chapter 10, verse 10 to 14. It talks of the king of Pasha. We know uh, the, Jesus uh, revived to Satan as the prince of this world. So this was what uh, the angel was referring to, the prince of Persia, that was Satan. Jesus, in the instance, John chapter 12, verse 13, said the prince of this world, or the ruler of the world, that is Satan. Paul labeled him the prince of the power of the air, that is Ephesians chapter 2, verse 2. If the prince, this is, so see this is Satan. Then who is the angel? Angel Michael came and delivered me. So Angel Michael is used five times in the Bible. In the book of Revelation 12, verse 7, the same book of Daniel chapter 10, verse 13 and 21, and Daniel chapter 12, verse, 20, verse 1. And a careful study reveals that Michael represents Jesus. So Jesus came and directly helped him and because he overcame, he overcame Satan by the word, because he is the word. So there is a, we realize that there is unseen powers, and no matter what the struggle, Jesus always comes to our side and help us to defeat. And so what should we focus on our prayer? Each and every day we pray, we have any, a new request each and every day. But the Bible is asking us to pray specifically. A prayer should be an honest, heartfelt, specific intercession. You will be having a very specific prayer request and a very specific prayer item. In a, your uh, intercession should be specific because all those who needed prayers in the Bible, we can read all the books. They were more than specific. Even the blind man, Jesus asked him, what do you want? He says, I want to see. So that is, that is the step that Jesus wants us to take. That, Lord, we want to know your word. Lord, I want to see. Lord, I need this and this. I need uh, my family to be uh, 
spiritually able. I want to have faith in you. I want to trust in you, Lord. I want people to accept you and to do your will because the Bible tells us if you ask anything in my name, I will do. If you ask anything in the name of Jesus, you will do. And he will answer also as according to our prayer. But sometimes, though sometimes you may pray what uh, may not seem good, Jesus answers us as according to his will. Because he said, if you ask anything in my name, he knows what we want. But he needs us to ask the request and he will give us what is better than what we ask. That is very important. What are Jesus that we have that when we pray, he's ready to answer us. So dear fewer, purely go to Jesus in prayer, pray to him. Thank you very much for being with me in this time. Until, until the next time, may you, may God bless you in Jesus' name.